We have with us uh, from the Alabama Department of Public Health uh, Administrator of the Northern District, Judy Smith. Judy, it's good to have you back with us today. Thank you. Miss Judy, good morning. Good morning, sir. <laughs> what? They've canceled practice. They've canceled, probably canceled it for two weeks. What happened? Well, some of the kids had, had this virus, and now they've got to make a bunch more of them get tested. And if, they, if they're positive, too, they're probably going to close the practice down for at least two weeks. You know, we may even lose the whole season. Oh, son, I am so sorry. I, I know this is, is tough. Mom, you don't understand. This is my last year to get to play ball. I mean, this is it. This is what I get to do. And what about my scholarship? You know, the, the, they were coming to watch me. What will we do if I don't get the scholarship? I don't know, son, but, but we, we'll work on it. We'll, we'll, we will work on it. So, Mom, what are you doing bringing the bag back? I thought you were using the bag to go on your trip. There is no trip. The trip got canceled, got killed by a virus. There is no trip. You know, I'm just so disgusted. You know, I know it seems selfish, and I know that you young people think we're selfish, but you know us old folks, we don't have a lot of time left. We've only got the time that we've got. And, you know, we've only, once we retired, there was only two things we could do. One of them was go to the doctor, and the other one was to go on trips, and now the trips are gone. You know, we, we can't even do that. And, and quite honestly, the doctor doesn't even want to see us. I want to see how they draw blood by Zoom. Mom, I'm so sorry. I, I, I know that trip meant a lot to you, and I, I really am so sorry. So, so what are you going to do? I'm going to go home and read my Bible. I'm just going to go. I, the Lord and I are just got some things we've got to discuss because, by gosh, it's about time for him to get this thing straightened out, and we're going to get it fixed. Now, Mom, don't you think that maybe he thinks we're kind of in on this too? Well, he may, be, he may think that, but let me just tell you, it's time for COVID to let my people go, and I'm going to talk to him about it. So... Ms. Smith, I, I'm sorry, but I'm going to have to let you know that I, I'm not going to be able to work anymore. I'm going to have to. I'm going to have to take a leave of absence, or I'm going to have to go home. Why, Susie? You can't go home. You're you're the most important one of the most important nurses we've got. If we, you know, you're our ICU lead. You're the lead on our vents. You're the lead on on so much of what we do. You can't go home. Yeah, but the kids are, are yeah, I just can't work all day and then go home and help my children with, with uh, their homework at night. I, I, just, I just am not where I can do that, and I am so sorry. Susie, I understand. Now, I will tell you, it's devastating for, for our hospital. It's devastating, and I, I'm not trying to put a guilt trip on you, but, but I do understand. Mary? I need to tell you something. They've cut back on the on work, and we're having to. Uh, I've been, I'm being furloughed. You know, there just wasn't enough people coming in. There just wasn't enough. John, what are we going to do? We're struggling with the mortgage right now. What are we going to do? I, I don't. I, I'm gonna get out. I'm gonna hunt a job. You know, I, I'm gonna work it out. I, I really am gonna work it out. We, we'll make this work. I, there are things out there we won't make as much as we do right now, but but we'll work it out. Mom, they're cats with school. We're going to do nothing but go strictly virtual. They, this is the way it is. We can't do that. You know, honey, honey, it's okay. We'll work it out. You know, those teachers are putting a lot of effort in it. Mama, it's just, you know I don't do well doing this, and you also know I've got to finish my project if I'm going to get into MIT. And, you know, I, I've just got to do it. Honey, I'm going to come home at night, and I'm going to help you. Mom, I love you, but you know what? You don't know the difference in a multiplication table and a periodic table, and, and you're just, just not going to work out like that. So, folks, all around our city, all around our state, these conversations are going on everywhere. This is where we are. This is where we're going to, to this is what we've got to save ourselves from. These are... They are our people. We are all in this together. And as your two leaders have already told you today, the numbers are, I have no idea because I just threw them down with my, all my other props. Right now, we are five months into this. As of Thursday, the 13th, we will have, be five months from when we had our first cases in Alabama. But the time we hit that five months, we are going to be over 100,000 cases in this state. Uh, that is huge. We're probably going to be close to 1,800 deaths. Now, right now we're at 1,707. 
Now, the good news, as your leaders have told you here this morning, is things are better in Morgan County. Things are better in Decatur. And quite honestly, the, uh, the percentage of, of cases in the last 14 days is 18% in this county. Um, whereas in the state, it's much more than that. So things are getting better. But I, I want to go back to my helmet here. You know, when Nick Saban is running a football game, he, when he gets into the third or fourth quarter, he doesn't say, you know, things were tough and they were losing the first two quarters and, and things were just doing tough. And so finally, things are getting better. Things are a little bit better. But you know, that's not when he goes back and puts the third string in. That's when he says, guys, we're getting there. Let's push harder. Let's do what we need to do. You know, as parents, we do exactly the same thing every day in life when our kids uh, conquer one uh, goal, we don't stop at that point. We keep pushing to get to where the goals are that we need to go. We've got to take care of our city. We've got to take care of our county. We've got to keep this thing going. We're just now looking a little better. You don't stop pedaling the bike when you're going downhill, you, well, you put the brakes on, and which is what we need to do, but you don't stop pedaling when you've got a journey to go on. You've got to keep going. And if we don't, Listen, we're in this for the long haul. We don't have a vaccine yet. The vaccine probably, even when the vaccine comes, we've got to be sure that it's sufficient. We've got to be sure that it's effective. We've also got to be sure that it's available to everybody that needs it. So we've got to keep going. You've got to keep pedaling the bike. You've got to keep playing with the first team. We've got to keep doing what we need to do. And I remind you of the MDS, mask, distance, and sanitize. Please, let's keep it up. Now, I also want to build on something that your leaders have also said. Please, please complete your census. You know, somebody told me that, you know, Mary and Joseph went all the way to Bethlehem to, to do their census. Surely, to goodness, we can go on uh, 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 online stuff or fill out a piece of paper to get ours done. Even public health, along with many of your community things, is going to struggle, struggle if we don't have people slotted in this census. We will lose money to provide care to the citizens of this city and of this county and to this state. We have, please, please, I encourage you, as they have said, please do your census. Again, we may, we need, if we're not all in it together, we'll all be in it when we hang. So thank you so much. Thank you for letting me come.